USS Oklahoma sailor killed at Pearl Harbor laid to rest in Tennessee. Flags at Tennessee State Capitol flew at half-staff in his honor. USS Oklahoma sailor Warren Krim, who was killed in the attack on Pearl Harbor, has been laid to rest in his Tennessee hometown. The Navy fireman third class was one of 429 USS Oklahoma crew members who died when Japanese aircraft attacked the USS Oklahoma on December 7, 1941. He was 20 when he was killed. The McMinnville native was accounted for on December 8, 2017, according to the Defense POW slash Missing in Action Accounting Agency. Channel 5 slash WTVF reports that Krim's remains were brought back to Tennessee last week, where they received a Navy Honor Guard. Tennessee Gov. Bill Lee paid tribute to Krim on Saturday. Flags over the Capitol will fly at half-staff today in honor of the ultimate sacrifice of U.S. Navy F-3C, Warren H. Krim, of McMinnville, TN, he tweeted, with a video honoring the fallen sailor. Krim died while serving on the USS Oklahoma during the attack on Pearl Harbor and is being brought home to Tennessee to be laid to rest. More than 2,300 U.S. military personnel and 68 civilians lost their lives in the Pearl Harbor attack. In 2015, incredible images emerged of a U.S. Navy seaplane that was sunk during the opening minutes of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Earlier this year, researchers discovered the wreck of the storied World War II battleship USS Nevada, which survived the Pearl Harbor attack and post-war atomic bomb tests. The wreck was discovered 65 nautical miles southwest of Pearl Harbor.